Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our very first day of our February sneaky peeks. I'm so excited about this release because it's just the best word to describe it is super duper cute and I love it. So anyways today we um, my design team and I are all showcasing a stamp set called Happy Hunting. Okay, so anyhow what I did was I basically just took a regular A2 size card um, you know, just grab an eight and a half by eleven card and then cut it in half. So, um, when it's folded, it's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter. And what I did was I used some pretty paper that I had got from my um, close to my heart consultant, Miss Melanie Brown. Um, I had gotten some paper from her, and this is what it looks like. And I'll have the name of it on my actual um, blog. I don't know the name of it at the moment. So basically what I did was I just grabbed my one and a quarter square punch that I had gotten from Stampin' Up! a long time ago. Um, punched out about maybe, let's see, four, eight, like a dozen of the little squares. And then, as you could see, there's some stitching there, okay? And then I'm going to show you really quickly how I did that, okay? Sorry. Princess, of course, has to play with the noisy toy. Okay, hold on one second. Let me grab what I'm looking for. Okay, so what I'm using again, this is my, um, remember I told you I have that stitching one from the gift card sentiments, not the more gift card sentiments. Somebody got a little confused with that. It's just the gift card sentiments. Sorry about that. <laughs> had to take the toy away from her. All right. So basically this is what I did. I just grabbed my, my little squares and I went ahead and I stamped two at a time, okay? And then remember I told you I got a lot of ink from Mr. Cricut Crazy site? This is another one called Emerald Green. A really pretty green, too. So, all I did was I went ahead and I just like, you know, inked up my little lines here, my little... And then all I did was I just grabbed them both and I just stamped them just like so. I stamped them at the bottom and then I went ahead and stamped them right at the top, okay? All right, so that's all I did. You could go ahead and do all the sides, but I figured, you know what, it still looks cute the way it is. And then what I also did with my squares, I just grabbed this one here. This is the Victorian Velvet from um, uh, the Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. Um, and then I just went ahead and just inked up the edges on these. So this way, you see how it's white because when I use the punch, to punch it out, you know, the little edges turn white there. Um, and then all I did was I just inked them up really quick. Just instead of doing plain squares, I just figured, you know what, let's just kind of um, kick it up a few notches. <laughs> okay, so now that part's done. So that's I, um, how I did the all the little squares. Oops. Okay, so now, let me scooch that aside there. So now what we are going to do, we are going to place all of the squares on our card. And as you can see, I just grabbed my pencil and I just made little lines. I don't even know if they're even or not, um, but we're going to go ahead and try our best. So I'm going to just kind of just start lining them up. Okay, so I'm going to start. So how I'm going to line them up, I'm going to get some stitching. Oh, sorry. Princess is just not showing her manners tonight. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, what well, I'm going to get the little um, stitching going that way. So I'm going to do every other one. One's going to go up and down. One's going to go across. And then this one's going to go up and down. Just like so, okay? So I just wanted to try my best to make them even. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop up every other one, okay? So... Let me grab my little ATG gun. I'm going to put down, I'm just going to go ahead and just, I'm going to tape, uh, adhe adhere down every other one, okay? So I just want to make sure that's, hopefully that's about right. Okay. Alrighty. 
Oops, that's going to have to go that way. And then this is going to have to go that way right there. Okay, so that means those two are going to have the pop-up dots, okay? Went ahead and put the pop dots on these two. We could have done it last, but I wanted to get it started, you know, at least the first row so I could have a guide to go by. I used to make cards like these all the time. They're so easy. All you do is just get pretty pattern paper. I mean, you could do all different different pretty patterns to make a card like this. Super duper easy, okay? Okay, so this is going to go, let's see, like so, right there. Uh-oh, I did that one wrong. <gasps> I think I messed up here. Let me see if I could get this one off. Yes, thank God I did. Okay, cool. There we go. Much, much better. Okay, then this one's going to go right there. I saved it, thank God. <laughs> okay, so then this is going to go right there. It's a little, hmm, it's a little uneven. I think I can move this one over. So I like about the ATG gun because it doesn't like get down like so permanently where you cannot work with it, you know. All right, and then I can move this little bad boy down right here. All right, that's a little bit better, okay? Probably doesn't look super even, but you know what? It's okay. I'm happy with it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab some pop dots and put them on two over here again really quickly. Okay, I went ahead and just put the pop dots on. So this way I'm going to go ahead and just start my second row here just like so and do the same thing right here okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab two more Oopsie. and then here it down again using my ATG gun let me grab another one here All right, so this is going to go this way. Okay, so far so good. But before I go on, I am going to, what I did was I grabbed my extra large, it's called XL label die, but I call it an extra love label die. And a lot of you have my little curly label dies and the little stamp and frame um, set. This is good for your bigger sentiments, okay? So what I did was I went ahead and I cut out a piece of paper and then I just cut it in half, okay? I want this to somehow be right there and I wanna put the sentiment on there. So this is another pretty ink that I had picked up. Um, Ray, it's called Rose Matter, either Matter or Rose Mater, one of the two. So I am going to, let me scooch that on over there. I'm going to go ahead and stamp on here our sentiment, okay? Okay, and then this one is going to say, wishing you, wishing your day is colorful, bright, and cheerful. Okay. Perfecto. Isn't that pretty? Check that out. Wishing your day is colorful, bright, and cheerful. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to do a little inking on the edges. I'm not sure, to be honest with you, if it's even going to show up. To be honest with you, I'm not sure. So I'm using, I believe this one's called the Olive Color, also from Tim Holtz. Um, I don't have the actual ink pad in my, like here in my face. I think it's on my other table. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just quickly ink up these edges here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my trimmer and I'm going to trim it just like so. Alrighty, I went ahead and I trimmed it down. And I want to put this somewhere right here. I'm not sure if I want to pop it up or not, but I want to go ahead and add the remainder of these. So 
Huh. One's going to have to be popped up here. Oopsie. That's going to go right there. So this one's got to be popped up just quite a bit in order for it to work. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. I think I used the wrong pop dots for this, by the way, but that's okay. I should have used some um, thinner ones, I should say. All right, and I'm going to throw a couple of pop dots on here really fast. Princess. Okay, you know what? I'm not sure if my camera was, if it turned off or not. So I'm not sure if you missed what I just did. What I did was I just glued this down with my ATG gun as well. I popped that side up and then I glued that part down just so it could kind of be even. And then I put glue gun on the, the side of the flower since that's popped up. But I'm also going to put some right here. I'm going to put a pop dot underneath there. Let me see if that'll be high. Yeah, it'll be high enough. But you know what, let me grab another one. I'm going to grab these little circles right here. Because I think that'll just work better. Let me grab some little tweezers here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So I do is I put glue gun on that side and underneath I put some, um, just for extra protection, um, what do you call that? the um, the little pop dot okay and then for here I'm gonna put glue gun I'm gonna put it like across but in the back hopefully this works hopefully this works so it could fit perfectly right there oh yeah I think that works awesome and then this one all I need is glue gun probably up there in the corner. Isn't this so pretty? I wasn't sure how this was going to come out, to be honest with you. I'm just so happy that I have that little, um, oopsie. There we go. That should work. And then what I'm going to do is put another pop dot underneath there. And I'm going to use these cute little circle ones I have right here. I wasn't sure how this was going to come out, and I'm actually really happy with it. I visioned this last night. Of course, my brain does not turn off when I go to sleep. And I was thinking, I need to do... Oh, that's not going to work. Let me just take it off like a normal person. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking, I want to do something with this set that you could use every day. Okay, so now what I'm going to do... I'm just going to stick this underneath there, like so, and then push down on it. How cute is that? Adorbs. Now, I would attempt to, since I, um, what do you call that, use that little, I use this to stitch on my thing. I can't really use that to stitch on here. But I might try and find, I think I have a green marker that I could just do some stitching all by myself there okay so anyways everybody I hope you enjoyed my card today I might have another sample of one on my blog but you definitely want to come back to my blog only because you have to see what my design team has done they have outdid themselves again I mean I swear I love my design team to pieces and I'm proud of each and every single one of them because they just blow my mind all the time, and I'm so happy that they are part of my creative time. So thank you so much, my creative team. Um, and anyways, everybody, don't forget, like usual, you want to spread the word about this release. Go ahead and um, mention it on your blogs, Facebook, tweet it, whatever you want, whatever connections you have out there. And remember, go ahead and just link it back to my Facebook wall. Uh, saying that you did and you'll see that link on my blog as well and again I apologize for the updates everybody just keep in mind I will be posting every day this week okay um, because of this release so if you're wondering if I did anything or not definitely this week is the week to be here because we have some fantastic prize prizes as well as projects for you with this new release. I'm so super duper excited. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.